Hey guys, here is the newest release. We've got our museum back and let me hop in on that and talk a little bit about what I've added. All right, so the museum is going to need a little bit more work, but I finally got the videos working now. So in the newest version, uh, we had some issues with the videos when we switched over to HDRP, but I fixed that. I've got a lot of the models back in. You'll notice that the plane is textured again. The destroyer. We have a few artifacts here from the new lighting system in HDRP that I'll take care of. Uh, we've got the tankers, the merchants. Uh, we've got the player working. I rebuilt some of the shaders, the triplanar shaders. We have the binoculars, the chronometer here. Finally, we've got the beautiful PT boat. I'm hoping to add um, some of the blueprints here. What you'll notice, though, is there's some really cool ambient shadows. So I'm starting to get that into the scene here. You can see kind of behind surfaces, etc. So I got some work to do there and some reflection work. And finally, we have the gyrocopter, auto gyro in here. I still have lots of work to do on the model. I actually moved this over. I started building this as a mod for the game U-Boat about, shoot, nine months ago now or so. A long time ago. So I decided to bring her in and start building out our museum here with lots of pieces uh, as we're getting everything into the game. All right, let's jump out. And now we've got a new mode. So no longer do we have the dry dock scene and the floating scene. I just have something I'm going to call Sandbox for now. I think it's a safe space with only patrons. Thank you all, by the way, for becoming patrons. Uh, playing with this as well as the contributors. So I don't think uh, I need to separate anything past this point. We're all kind of on the same page on the fact that this is an extreme work in progress. All right. So first thing you'll, you'll notice is the PT boat is gone by default. The only thing we have here is uh, the tanker. And the way you bring anything up past this point is you press the letter J and you get this sandbox control pop. Uh, on the right, we have the U-boat in the ocean or U-boat in dry dock. If you click uh, U-boat in the ocean, you'll pop up in the ocean and now you're good to go. You could get the U-boat underway and play around. If I go U-boat and dry dock, we come back to dry dock. It's that simple. So literally the two scenes we had before, a click away. Next up, we have the Elko PT boat. Click on that. We uh, spin up the boat and you'll see it's not perfectly working right now. I still have to import the latest model, but the boat uh, is spawned and now you can drive it. I still have to make all these gauges work and have the entire routine. Uh, we'll get to that. You know, I have to kind of balance my most valuable resource, which is time, amongst all these different things. So we'll make sure that we get the PT boat working soon enough. We could spawn the plane like before. I brought the textures back into play in the HDRP version some modeling work I need to do to fix some of these uh, see-through pieces of, of the mesh. And finally, the gyrocopter. Gyrocopter will basically bring you on top of the boat. The auto gyro is connected. I still have lots of work to do on the rope physics, though if you get frustrated while playing with it, I apologize beforehand. Uh, there's a lot of physics things I need to do to make sure these joints work well. But if you click on the auto gyro, you're basically seated on board even though you're outside. Again, apologize for that. I'm just trying to get it out there for now. And this thing uh, is trying to take off, but you have to be going quite fast to have enough lift. So the thing is spinning, applying some forces, the rope stretching way too much. I do have to fix that. And eventually, though, you do take off 
once you reach the required speed. You could turn it a little bit here and there. And I removed some of the logic that allows you to actually winch out the more rope or bring it back in. Um, once again, lots of physics work I've got, got to do underneath to actually make it work well. But for now, you're on the auto gyro and you're flying around. To bring her back down, uh, you could either slow the boat down, or if you right click, you're outside of the uh, gyro, you're back in FPS mode, and you can just stare at it, enjoy it. And that's about it for now. This again is the latest release. Uh, so for you that have access to it, thank you again for becoming patrons. I hope you have fun with it, and um, looking forward to a lot of enhancements soon including getting all these systems working really, really well for everybody. Take care.